home near Beach High School in Suffolk County. An exhaustive search has failed to turn up any evidence, any trace of this teen who has autism. But as Fox 17 News' Kelly, uh, Kelly Avellino shows us, Roger's father is continuing the search tonight, and he is not alone. It's my son's favorite color. Green ribbons and a smile. Now, y'all, from the beginning, I told her, tried to tell y'all, I, I, I wanted to, I was trying to tell y'all that it's something that Seth is guilty of. Seth is guilty. Seth is guilty of something related and involved his son. And I told y'all from the beginning that Katie is protecting her child. Oh no, you have to have a big channel in order for somebody to listen to you. Okay, don't change y'all mind now. Don't change y'all mind now. I really think that Self knew exactly what's going on. But he just think that they holding his son away from him. Smile that cannot be mistaken. So he's in his feelings. Again. His smile lights up the world. He is my heart. If you get to know him. You'll smile all the time. When you see him coming, you'll smile. When you hear his laughter, it's the sun coming through the clouds. He is joy. But that joy ended a month ago for Seth Rogers, when his son Sebastian is believed to have walked off from his home in the middle of the night. That, according to Sebastian's mother and stepfather, Katie and Chris Proudfoot, since investigators scaled back their initial ground search to focus more on the investigative side of the case, Roger says he has not relented in looking for his boy. Every day. Every day. I have to. To stop looking is to give up hope. Rogers is now getting help from the United Cajun Navy, an organization that's aided in hundreds of search and rescues and disasters across the country. It gives me even more hope. More hope that, that the professionals... Don't you know this young man, Sebastian, I hope the law that he's in protection, protection custody, because he don't need to be around none of them. Neither, neither one, neither parent. It seems like he ain't protected custody, what he been through, what he has been made of. Y'all got to put y'all feeling aside and look through these parents, okay? Right. The people that are going to lead this, they're going to find my son. And they're going to bring him back to me. The nonprofit was already in Nashville helping during the search for missing Mizzou student Riley Strain. Now they'll be coordinating search teams, tracking dogs, and even water searches if necessary for Sebastian. Roger saying his inquisitive son could be anywhere. Because knowing him and his curiosity, he might be there. I just don't believe that young man walked out this, walked out that door, y'all. I really don't believe because he told his mama before he went to sleep he loved his mama as if he was going to get up and go to school the next day. Now something ain't right about this now. I've always been a person, and that explains to my son that anybody can say anything, but your actions will speak louder to your words. What CP did to my son is horrific. My son cleans his room. Why? Because I use logic with him. Sebastian, you can't find this toy. You know why you can't find this toy? Because I had to come and clean up your room while you were gone. Now, if you clean up your room and you put things back, when you come back in here, you will know where everything is because you've put it in its special spot. So I'm giving murderers and inmates that I believe can change. Absolutely. Treat them like they're human beings. Yeah. Because I expect them to change. Are my, are my sister, they're safe. Why they're in jail before they go to prison. Right behind that badge. I am the representation of honor, integrity, courage. Commitment. Now, Seth talking like he had an inmate to help him do something with his son. That's, that's the way he talking. He's sharing his life job with you all. He's so deep in being an investigator into until he wants to be the one to figure things out. He think he knows everything. 